Hey! I know nothing about where I'm going, who I'm meeting with. Okay, don't trade me and where I'm going. She will fit right along with any family that you put her with. Hey, hey, turn the TV off. We're not watching any TV today. For making the switch, each of our families will receive $50,000. I got about $30,000 worth of debt I want to wipe clean. I definitely would buy myself things. Probably go to Walmart. But there's something they don't know. Come here! Get him back, you beast! Oh, that was a cheap shot! In the end, how they spend the $50,000 will ultimately be decided by the new mom or dad. No! It's my decision. So I gotta be the bad guy. So now it's up to the new moms and dads to take charge. No, 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 no. This is off limits. Things are gonna have to change. What? They'll have to fit in. Ah! I don't wanna hear no bitching, period. Get along. Hey, listen, Warden. I'm coming. And keep from going insane. What did I just say? Out, out. <laughs> You're gonna kill somebody. Excuse me, the fun's over. I'm flipping out, okay? Don't me, hey, no, what is your problem? Yeah. If she was looking for a vacation, Come here. it's not going to happen. Just shut up! But along the way, some will learn that change isn't always for the best. Not my mom. I don't like, I don't like her either. I felt so unwelcome. I want my wife back. Why? And once our parents return home, they'll be forced to tell their family the truth. I don't want to do this. That someone else has decided how their $50,000 will be spent. I have an announcement to make. Can we open the letter? This is how we're supposed to spend our money. What do you think? Are you serious? It's the ultimate chance. I'm having a great time. To see life through someone else's eyes. You all want to be playing. We're trading spouses. And the switch. Dad, you brought the wrong color home. Is on. What will you miss me for? <laughs> Nothing. Two totally different families. I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm getting by. I do have to send her all my life. Absolutely. Are trading one parent. Mother. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. I want to see the kids' eyes when I walk in. For one week. I wouldn't doubt it if within two, three days she was bossing them around. Hey, hey, hey. Chill. New house. This doesn't look like my house. New kids. I can't handle rap music, guys. New life. Each family gets $50,000, but what they don't know is that the new mommy will decide how they spend the money. Seriously? Are you serious? It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? Put your hand on the bleep button, because it's going to be some bleeping. Mom! I don't think that there's anything typical about our family, but I have friends tell me all the time, there is never a dull moment in your family. You've always got something going on with your family. I think what I would miss the least is the constant bossing. You raised him, Nana. Did I do it wrong? Of course you did it wrong. She would fit right along with any family that you put her with. Nana, there's enough chicken there for an army. Hop up, now, right now. Move it. The t-shirt is too small for you, you know it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't doubt it if within two, three days she was bossing them around. <laughs> Nico! Come here! One of the things that Yuki and I want to instill in our children is how to speak. Get your shoes on. If you don't learn anything else, you need to learn how to speak because that is how people perceive you. Do you want to get down to the Caribbean? And even though my husband made it on his intelligence, he didn't use that he was a minor, I mean, not a minor, that he was a, what am I looking for? Minority. Minority, thank you. That he was a minority, that makes him crazy. Good shot, Jim. And it has nothing to do with money. I mean, I can talk to the President of the United States, or I can talk to the trash man out there, because to me, they're the same. I understand that I'm going to be spending another week with another family. My kids will handle it great. They'll be fine with it. Their dad will be here. Nana will take over. And Nana's not as strong as I am. The kids tend to get away with a little bit more. Nico. Nico Chan. Yeah? Take a shower and change your clothes. Eat your breakfast. I'm not hungry. Okay, take a shower and change your clothes. Okay. Don't forget to change the underpants. Nana really knows where her place is. 
She enjoys taking care of her son. She knows I'm not going to cook every day. That's just not what I want to do. Nico, you better learn this so that you can pass this down to your kids. Because when they're old enough to cook, Nana may not be around. Yuki would probably say the thing that made him fall in love with me was my love of life, my charisma, my positivism. And I always say that um, if he decides he can find something younger and cuter, I can continue to live my same lifestyle. Don't make me do something ugly to you. Oh. Don't sit that on that floor. Don't start nothing. I'll, I'll pour this hot water on you. That's me. I got bills. I got kids. Got this dog running behind me. I take care of them. Whether it be punishing, taking away TV, taking away video games. You know, she used to doing everything, you know, what she want to do. And she used to taking care of doing things, you know, the way she does it, which is great. I'm the kind of person I want to know what's going on. And to have to not know has been, you know, my biggest fear to be put in a position where, you know, I've lost control. Hang up the phone and do what I asked you to do. Huh? All right. Milo. Do what I asked you to do. I'm going to be more aware about what she's doing, how she's doing. I get my stuff ready. Is she happy? You know, because, you know, her happiness means a lot. $50,000 will help me a lot. I got about $30,000 worth of debt I want to wipe clean. And I just I catch a cab to the car lot and buy me a Corvette. And then I spend another couple hundred bucks on the Louis Vuitton because that's going to sit on the seat, the other seat, the two-seater, because it's just me and my purse. So, you, Nanny, you understand that somebody's going to come and live here? Mm -hmm. What do you think, honey? Well, I just hope uh, we could carry on the care. I mean, interesting conversation. Different culture and different family values. And well, you won't get to see me for days, figure out whether or not I'm worth keeping, huh? So <laughs> The incentive behind the whole show is uh, a sum of $50,000. So we will get $50,000. Not individually, as a family. 50000 or 5000 50. 50. 50. So how much y'all gonna get? 40, 40. How much you gonna get? Not, not 500. 500. 500. We only get that much. We ain't made and make sure you donate something to the church. And I think we should buy a vote for the lake since we're getting a lake house. This lady's cooking the same as you. I'm home with the uh, other mother coming on. Coming out. I'm fine with that. She's fine with that. Me too. Let me me cussing that damn with me. Did I cuss you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I treat them just a little bit better. <laughs> that I treat my own. Because they probably treat me just a little bit better than they treat their own. This other woman does. What does that mean? She may be bossier than you. Oh, then you'll be glad to have me back, won't you? <laughs> Maybe you need two suitcases. No, one more, just one. Fine. One for the shoes. Oh, yeah. oh, I might do some swimming. I better take a swimsuit. No, you ain't finna do all that. They said you were going to take care of somebody's family. They might have a pool. They ain't got no, no pool. You don't know. You just don't have a pool. You just don't have a pool. I got a pool. It'll take a few minutes to blow it up, but it's after. Okay. No, I hate packing. I don't mind. I don't mind packing it to come home, but I don't like packing it to go. So why you got biscuits in your bag? Why are you all in my bag anyway? You got the 2004 snack. What else you got up in there? Put my stuff back in my bag. My mama died. Got all the snacks. Got the 2004 snacks. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Nicole, come here, give me kisses. Mm. I love you. Don't be a total couch potato while I'm gone, okay? <laughs> okay. Bye, Nana. Bye. Bye, Nana. We'll see Have you. A good time. See you when I see you. Okay, let's call the child here. Uh, 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 before you put your nasty lips on. Bring your light back, baby. Two, two, three days. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. You had to push me up. I'm sorry. Come here. Let me make it up. Hello? 
Natalia? Uh-huh. Hi, honey. Well, listen, I'm going out of town. Hi, Mom. I mean, I won't see you. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll miss you, and I love you, and do really, really good tomorrow. Okay, cool. Okay, honey. Bye-bye. Right, Mom. I love okay. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Here, I wonder if I'm going to come back a blonde or if I'll come back brunette or maybe I'll look like you when I come she back, knows. honey. My baby. All right. All right. We'll see you later. Honey. All right. Hi, honey. Hi. Mm, I love you. Okay, don't trade me and mom gone. <laughs> okay. I love you. All right. Mm, bye bye. Love you. I love you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, she been getting the cab. She's getting the All right. Cab. No, I've been waiting on my chick. I'm going with no. See y'all later. Be good. All right. Love y'all. Love you. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Where is she going? We don't know. Sure, she'll have a great time. We don't know where she's going. We don't know. And we don't know who we're getting either. <clears throat> no? They're gonna kidnap with it. I think Anthony's right now is trying to find him something to eat. See if he's gonna go buy a box of chicken or something. And I do this sometimes. I'll leave for a few days and then come back, and it's, it's great to be back. There's, like Dorothy says, as she's clicking those toes, there's no place like home. You know, about me having a children and being a mother, you know, I feel for mine, so I feel for them. I guess I assume that most everybody else has a life like mine, and people tell me that they don't because we make life so exciting, and I just assume that everybody's life is like that. You know, as long as she's nice, as long as she's okay with the kids, you know. Does she like to play golf? Does she like to cook, play games, watch ball games? Those are the questions I have. I hope she has a sense of humor, too. What type of mom would be the worst case scenario? A total bore. Yuki Nakamura. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you several chances at it. Thank you very much. This is nice. It's uh, beautiful. We don't have anything like this. This is nice. All right. Are we off to see the wizard? <laughs> When I first pulled up, I remember looking over and thinking, well, he looks like one of you guys. Okay, are we here? Just one of the many people that it takes to put this on. Am I going with you? Yes, you're going with me. When I realized that he was the person that I was going to, I was very excited to see that it was a family of a different race than mine because I've got lots of friends of every race there is. Well, hello. Hello, new mom. Um, do you know any more than I know? No, I don't. How you doing? I'm Tammy. Hey, how you doing? I'm Anthony. Pleasure hey, to meet you. you. Okay. I didn't know if I was getting on a plane yeah, or a know. train or an automobile. So you just, are you a nervous <laughs> I Will you take me? Oh, let's go. Let's <laughs> Where go. are we going? Let's get uh, in the car and just zoom out of here. On. Okay, let's go. How many then. kids do we have? We got three kids. Oh, I love Two kids. boys and a girl. Okay, and I can, like, boss them around and stuff? Uh... I just, my first impression of Anthony was that he was a very happy person when I first saw him. My 13-year-old daughter, she don't think that she what she's saying is wrong. Right. She just feel like she's voicing her opinion, I believe. But you know what? It's called respect. That's right. You have to respect. You, you, can, you can voice your opinion all you want to, but there's a certain way you have to talk to your parents. Exactly. My 13-year-old, she's getting a little bit out of hand, but you know what? I have a hand that'll snap her back in hand, <laughs> you know? 
So when this blonde white woman walks in, are you going to be okay with this? Yeah, you know, I, I hadn't said nothing, but that's referred to Omar, the baby boy. He asked me, he said, is she going to be black like us? I said, I don't know. Don't I mean, have a clue, right? Okay, I don't mean to sound uneducated when I ask you this. You can ask me anything you want. <laughs> but tell me the difference between, oh, well, I guess it's, you know, regionally based, of uh, Koreans, Jap J Japanese, and Vietnamese. All these are just different areas, right? Different areas in Asia. And different areas in Asia, and is all the language different, or is all, all one? totally different. Really? Totally different. So Koreas speak Korean. They speak Korean. And uh, I speak Japan, Japanese, speak Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese uh, to speak Vietnamese. This is definitely an interesting thing, and I love it because, you know, my goal in life is to meet every person on the face of this earth. I want to meet them all. Yes. I like your name. I like your name a lot. That's nice. Almila. Yes. I like. I, yes. like, I like names like that. It's like my husband. My husband's Japanese. Oh, oh. <laughs> Driving into the neighborhood, I was really impressed by the sizes of the houses. They were huge. I don't think I had been, you know, in a neighborhood that had so many huge houses. I honestly thinking that this is such a completely different neighborhood that I live in. No, I'm hoping there's a place I can work out. Looking out. <laughs> I want to see the kids' eyes when I walk in, Anthony. Well, going, you brought looking. the wrong color in here, Dad. They're probably looking out the window now. Okay, here we go. Well, welcome to our home. It's Come me, guys. In for it. I want to see the kids' eyes when I walk in, Anthony. Well, they're probably you brought the wrong color in here, Dad. They're probably looking out the window now. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, welcome to our home. It's Come me, guys. In. Here we are. Hello. Hello. Come on in. How are you? Fine. How are you? This is my Welcome. mother. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Amila. Now, wait a minute. This is Pooh. Who's Oh, no, that's Pooh. I'm Tammy. Hi. Let me put this down. This is my son, Nico. Nico. Nice to meet you, Nico. My name is Elmila. You look exactly like my 12 year old. Wait till you. Oh, my gosh. He's Nico, and he looks like you, and you're... Kishna. Wait, Bo, Bo. <laughs> I already know. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Ahideko. Ahideko? Yeah, everybody call her Nana. Nella? Okay, can I call you Nana? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I talk a whole lot like your dad. That's all right. That's okay. It's all right. You talk... I talk now, you're the 11-year-old. Spud. Spud. 11, 12, and 13. Yeah. This is our house. This is your house? This is beautiful. Oh, my God. This doesn't look like my house. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God. This is our master bedroom. My wife would kill me if she saw... The, the pillows like the that? The pillows uh, out of oh place. Oh, my God. And the boys' room, about as clean as they get. Oh, well, I call it oh, no. Are you kidding? Clean you can't it up. see the floor. Uh, it was like that. <gasps> With our organization here. It's... Oh, I 
Look up music, and that's what I'm addicted to. Now, you know what am I going to like rap music? Yeah. Rap music? I can't handle rap music, guys. I cannot handle it because it gives me a headache. Pink sandals, blue sandals, black cars, white flip flops. Oh, my God. She's going to die when she see my closet. I have a bucket that I just dump my shoes out on. Now, tell me if I'm going to find the shoes that I want. She's going to die. I feel so sorry for her. Oh, my God. Rap. Rap, 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 rap. No country in here? This is my dog. This oh, he's all wet. Guy. It's Mario. Hi, Mario. I have a dog, too. <laughs> my dog name is Sugar. Sugar? Yeah. Sugar. That's cute. Hey. <laughs> well, great. Do you have any idea what you want to do eventually? You are going to college, right? I'm going to You have to go to college. I'm going, I'm trying to get a band scholarship. There you go. And the scholarship a paper. Now, a scholarship is what they give you money okay. to go to school. So, it's out there to get. We live in America, I'm you. <laughs> you can do anything you want. Okay. spend their fifty thousand dollars that's so you're serious that's a huge responsibility in the in the situation that i'm in and do i have to tell them that i hope i'm up to the challenge okay whereas in my life it wouldn't mean as much as it means in their life so I have to know them enough to tell them what they're going to spend their $50,000 on. I mean, that's a huge, I mean, that is a big twist right there. That is a huge twist. Okay, what if they don't like it? What if they don't like me after that? Is there any coffee? Is that instant, any regular coffee? I had a hard time getting going this morning because the coffee wasn't what I normally have. I have to have regular, not instant. Now, as soon as I have some coffee, I can wake up. Because I've got to have some coffee. Anybody have coffee up there? I understand. They have to get up. They have to go quick. They have the coffee. They put it in the cup and off they go. Where is Nana always? Sets the coffee pot the night before and it's ready to go the next day. Make lunch for Amina. Okay. Just looking at their family and me thinking about how I'm gonna spend their fifty thousand dollars. I just have no idea. From the looks of it, I don't see what they need to spend fifty thousand dollars. So I have to get to know them and talk to them and I mean I don't even know where to begin. starving. Cooking the breakfast, even though that's a hard job, I actually enjoyed it a lot. When we first got up today, I cooked breakfast for the whole family. 
Tammy promised that she was going to make it, but she still did it. And I was mad about that. Yeah, what's up with that? Well, since I'm on the kitchen. If you're asking me right now what I would do with their money, I don't know. But it's a mental thought that I really have control of the destiny of this money that has really mentally exhausted me. Nana was 72, but she is a working machine. She can do crunches. She can do weights. She can do everything. I was so impressed. Before I did a 600. 600 crunches? Uh -huh. 600. You look different from last night. Your face has changed. Oh, that's how you really look like that? I think so. Because last night you looked like a movie star. She did, didn't she? Yeah. No, now you like a different today. Okay, you're digging yourself deeper in a hole. I've been at cheerleading camp for four days now, and I'm excited to meet this new mom. It's going to be different. It's going to be fun, though. <laughs> I'm going to tell her, how are you? I was really, really scared to meet her because another woman coming in your house, you know, it kind of like stepping on your toes almost. You hungry? Hot outside, yes. You hungry? You want me to fix you something to eat? Okay. But once she got in, I mean, she was real warm. She was opening up to me and acceptable to the situation. Your daughter, she's going to be a ninth grader. She's going to be a ninth yeah. grader. So it's different when you're in middle school and mm -hmm. you're dealing with seventh and eighth grade boys. The guys in your grade are so immature. It's just like, grow up, you know? <laughs> do I like these guys or do I like these guys? <laughs> Whatever Mila asks me to do, I'll do for her because she's the mom and she's new to this family. So I'm going to help her out in any way I can't. <laughs> I'm starving. Huh? Lunch really did show the difference of our lifestyles. Her eating habits are a little bit different than ours. What do you want to fix? I don't usually fix. Oh, that's right. You don't usually, I usually, you usually eat. Huh? She's in a position where uh, she can just go out and purchase things and buy lunch. That's what I do. But we're not, and that's just the fact of it. We're the, uh, All of us went to a Japanese restaurant. The restaurant was gorgeous. <laughs> I've never really ate sushi before. Chopstick. OK, do I, I don't flip it right. No, we just, just, just put it in the mouth. A lot of times I'm not willing to taste a lot of stuff because of the way it looks. But I didn't want to insult anybody, so I said, OK, you know, just keep going, just keep going. <laughs> you OK? I need some food now. Are you going to go out and get some? We say most of our out for eatings and stuff is on the weekend. Because during the week, you know, we school and work. Mila never eats a sandwich. She never goes out and buys a sandwich. Anthony? Because of our financial situation, it just doesn't allow us just to pick up and go out to eat whenever we feel like it. Well, I'm, I'm kind of doing my thing now, and I'm not in the mood for making lunch. To me, she got a little huffy about lunch, you know, because she wasn't able to do what she want. I need something now. My son's stomach is very upset. So get it, which will take you all about an hour, and come back. I think the greatest strength that I'm bringing to this household is my positivism, my positive um, aura, attitude, all that. What about baked chicken with a cream mushroom? I don't want any of that. I'm tired. 
I know Tammy is a guest in my home. I know the role that she was brought here to play. I'm not allowed to cook on. Don't get upset because we're not doing the things you want to do because you're living my life. Can I see what our bill looking like? I just want to see it. I don't want to take care of it, but I you just don't take care. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I don't want to take care of it. I'll let you, I'll let you see it. <laughs> Dinner was very expensive. I'm glad it's you, baby. And I was just like, wow, this is something totally different. We're low income. You know, we can't just jump in the car and go out to dinner. They living in luxury. We had some bacon for bacon lettuce and tomatoes. Yeah, we actually do have bacon. There is some in there? Yes, we do. So I think um, that's what I can bring to this family, just show them a little something different that seems to have worked for us. Giving them another outlook on life other than their lifestyle. Here, hand me the fast water. I think Tammy can learn from my family that no matter how much money you have, no matter how big your house is, all our basic core values are the same. We all want the best for our kids. We all want them to have a good education. We all want them to be safe. We all want them to be healthy. What the carbs are here. I hope that she learns that making do is not so bad. is Omar going, wake up, we're going to the water park today. Do you find out where that coffee pot is? He goes, can't find the coffee, what'd you do with it? And I said, didn't have it, get the coffee. Lost my friend. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a coffee person, too, so I've been scrounging around trying to find it. I guess she drinks coffee every morning, you know. Well, I'm gonna give one more good look for it. She likes to drink percolating coffee. But because we get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, have to beat her at 6, we don't have time to wait on a coffee pot. But I'm looking for the coffee we bought yesterday. I couldn't find the coffee. So what I'm going to do while we're getting breakfast started, okay. I'm going to go to the store. Sometimes when you live a certain life, you just get embedded in that routine. So I didn't mind, you know, running off and going to get coffee. Because if it was Mila and she needed something, I would have did the same thing. He already had a solution to the problem. And I'm sure it's the same thing with Mila. Because when it comes to women, when they want something, they want it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do they mix? Yes. I enjoy spending my time with Nico. Nico reminds me of home. So do you just focus on one area? You know, I've never put a puzzle together this big. Try to find edge parts and then try to find it so it's facing up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think Mila probably, sorry, wait. Okay, I do think Mila is becoming pretty comfortable around our family. So what do your mom do usually on Fridays? She doesn't cook dinner? No. Just Nana cooks? Or you eat out? Yeah, pretty much my Nana cooks. My mom wouldn't do this really with me. She wouldn't? She has a lot of she, other things. She has a lot of other things to do. Yeah. You're good, you know that? started blow drying my hair, and the breaker went off. Omar! Well, Omar had to dig through the clothes to get back to the breaker box. Uh, yeah, thank you, honey. Yeah, she told me to wait by the closet so when the um, stickers break, turn the lights back on. Okay, you just need to stand right here. Stand by. Omar. 
Thanks. That was really getting on my nerves. It went off about 40 times. Omar, are you still in the closet, honey? By that time, Anthony was back, coffee was going, and we sat down and had breakfast. Oh, Omar, will you zap that about 10 seconds in the microwave for me, honey? Okay. All the family, Miko, I, Natalia, Nana. I took a trip to the Yuki's Wake House. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh my God, when I walk through the front door, it is gorgeous. I mean, whoever designed it, my hat's off. We got in the car and headed over to the water park. Well, I get to know you guys. And maybe this will make me, when I get home, realize, you know, I need to spend a little more time with the kids here. Taking charge, that's where we're going. Yeah. Let's go that direction. Do y'all wanna put your stuff down under the tree here? Let's do it right under the tree, guys. No, carbs are not good for you. We need to read on this. Look here. There's about 26 carbs. Shara has got an absolutely beautiful smile, but I've noticed the way that she eats and the way that she looks as far as her weight and continued on the path that she is, she will probably die very young, and that concerns me. When Tammy was telling me those things, I wasn't, like, really listening. I was, like, looking, like, somewhere else. So, you're just conscious of what cards you eat. You can lose what? Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People, but like Nana, he truly broke the mold out the Nana. It doesn't get any better than Nana. You know, these kids, they never had a poor life. Uh, no, I don't think they could survive a poor life. If right. you, you start with the bottom, you make it, make it. But if you, yeah. you know, you start at the top, it's hard to go back down. As long as they're taking care of themselves and healthy, yeah, not doing anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. I do worry about them a lot, mm -hmm. but that's okay. I got a new friend. I can talk holy by word. Uh, I'm happy. But you never know, you know, how it comes up. <laughs> Gonna be president of the United States. Who knows? That's right. That's <laughs> right. I wouldn't want that to have that much responsibility, but one turns out to be the president, I'll still be happy for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> kids, make sure they didn't drown, because I don't think that they had ever had any formal swimming lessons. Keep an eye on them! Keep an eye on them! Okay. 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 Okay.
and Tammy be a part of our life. It's like the first couple of days, everybody's all polite. And she's a very nice person and everything. But now I'm trying my best not to holler at Tammy. But I feel the politeness going to start kind of wearing off. And then you'll really start seeing everybody's true personality. CMT Sure Thing Fridays and Country Fried Home Videos is ready to kickstart your weekend. Just don't take this guy's parking space. Some people should be allowed to drive. And later on Maven America. Is that your security camera? You talking to me? Give my regards to Broadway. I said you talking to me? Remember me to Harold Square. CMT Sure Thing Fridays. All new episodes. Friday at 9, 8 Central. Only on CMT. <laughs> Trading spouses, our first two families made the switch. Dad, you brought the wrong color home. The new moms had barely moved in before the first bombshell was dropped. Are you serious? Each must decide how the other family spends their $50,000. That is a big twist. One family made an immediate connection with their new mom. Yes. <laughs> but the other family soon discovered... I'm not in the mood for making lunch. When this mom is not happy... I need something now. Nobody's happy. The conclusion of this trading spouse's switch. Things are going to be a little different around here. We're going to do it the way I want to do it. The tables are turned. Some things are going to have to change. This is my home. This is the way it's going to happen. I'm and the new moms move. take over. Turn the TV off. We're not watching any TV today. Boy, my world came crashing down. Mila and Tammy host parties for the friends and relatives of their new families. And each makes a lasting impression. Where's Tammy? Tammy's at Mila's house. Well, I'm really nervous about the party. I wouldn't yeah. hire you with those pants because I'm not paying you to pull your pants up all day long. Yeah. I'm like, uh, okay. As the final days unfold, both women take time to dispense their own brand of motherly advice. Get your studying done. Wait till you're older and have kids. Be wise with the boys. Then the moment of truth arrives. I don't want to do this. What will the women think of one another when they finally meet? How will the families react to learning that the $50,000 is not theirs to spend? Oh, yes. Will anyone be happy with the other mommy's choices? Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but what they don't know is that the new mommy will decide how they spend the money. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? I hate to wait. Sure, this morning, I would have loved to slap is, but time is not a luxury for us. The things we do have to be done at a particular time. Shut the door. You say you're going to be ready in 15 minutes. I expect you to be ready in 15 minutes. We're actually going to go take old models. No, getting up yet, you guys. We're actually going to put Did we do account. this once already? Why are we doing this again? It is a respect issue. It is kind of personal. What's the deal? Well, we're just letting you know. We already did this. Why. We did this to make the money, and we did this for a purpose. So, hey, I'm ready to get my wife back and, uh, and just ready to find out who I talked to about getting my check. Do I talk to you about getting my check? Good morning. Mm. 
in a few minutes, I want you to go ahead and get up, okay? So we can get the day started. We got a lot to do, okay? breakfast this morning. It was the first day I cooked breakfast for everybody. Both the kids eat the uh, egg white omelet, not the yellow part. I found out that Natalia didn't eat egg yolks. She ate egg whites. What oh, over. So the eggs I cooked her, she didn't eat. This is great, great food. Is it? What Mila cooked was just, I mean, it was perfectly adequate. So, what shall we do today? How about a manicure and a pedicure? Want to go do that? Okay. I wanted to spend some time with Kushar and do a girl thing because... Hey, let's go, girl. I don't know that she gets to get out and do a lot of girl things with her mom. This is your first time for one of these, isn't it? So what do you think that you've got now to meet replacing your mom? How to watch how to eat. Just watch that. Because over the years, I don't want you to get to the point where you're miserable, okay? Overweight girls, it is just very, very hard for them. They can't find clothes. They feel miserable. They can't walk a mile. It's just a very, very hard life. I want you to make it an effort every day to watch what you're eating, okay? And think of me as you're doing it. Because I've made exercising a big part of my life. And I was never overweight my whole life. I guess you can say I was just the all-American girl that supposedly isn't, is not to have any problems, and I didn't. I don't like that one on. Like no. Your mom had three kids when she was right out of high school. So um, get your studying done. Then have kids. Wait till you're older and have kids. <laughs> Mila is kind of young for a mom, so that's why it makes it easier for me to talk to her. Be wise, you know, with the boys. I am. Be, be, I be am. wise, you know, because they will smooth talk you to the end. <laughs> I truly gave from the time of the advice, strictly from experience, you know, when my father, my first two children, you know, I kept falling for the lies, just over and over and over and over and over again. In the beginning, it's just... Mm -hmm. Peaches and cream, but when it's over with and they done with you, they done. Listen to your antennas, they lead you in the right direction. <laughs> right. I will. Yeah. Now I'm gonna lay back and I'm gonna enjoy this ride for a little bit. <laughs> My feet feel like something is going on. Can I check them and make sure they're okay? Our big emphasis today is we're going to get the yard perfect because we're going to have the party out in the yard, okay? And I am getting ready to have a party tomorrow. I can't wait to see what all their family's like, what Amelia's family's like. Hello. Okay. What? You're coming to the party? Y'all already know that. Oh. So who all's coming over? Do you know? Yeah, my cousins and my grandma. Well, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how they respond to me and to seeing how open they'll be if they're like the rest of their family that I'm living with. Hi, Joanne, this is Amila. I'm at Tammy's and Yuki's house, and we're having a cookover tomorrow. Tomorrow's party I am so nervous about. I don't, I don't know these people. Cam, give us a call back as soon as possible. Thank you, bye-bye. If you're eating good food and you're with good friends, you're okay. But cooking for people who I don't know, I feel a little uncomfortable with. I really do. Two o'clock, yeah. We would like to invite you over. Uh, if you could, could you bring a covered dish with you and give us a call back as soon as possible on, my phone. on this phone. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Thank y'all for everything, and I appreciate you, doctor, for allowing me to come to your home. You're more than welcome. 
But unfortunately, some things are going to have to change. What? I'm so sorry, but I've enjoyed y'all. But it's just, uh, things are going to have to change. First of all, Nana, yes. I love you to death, darling. You have done a lot, and you do a lot. As of now, you are completely off the hook. You do nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. It's between one, two, three, and four. I was really more worried about Nana, because Nana is the one who does everything like a mother would do for them. You know, I felt real uncomfortable with that, because I just didn't want to, you know, disrespect her in any kind of way. You no, know, first thing, we have to call all the guests back, because they're not bringing anything. What? Huh. No. That's not going to happen. Yes, it's going to happen. They're bringing, they're bringing. Why? Why? Because that's, all, that's the way we do it. But that's, that's not that's, the way I do it. No, no, I'm going to interject here. Why? Because that's how we have parties. <laughs> that's not the way I have parties. That's not going to change. This is my home. This is the way it's going to happen. Well, may I say something to that? Mm -hmm. That's not the way I have parties. I love the party idea because that is what I do, and I do well. But we're going to do it the way I want to do it, okay? I don't want anybody taking it personal. We're just now going to the way that I do things, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Huh? How's that going to be? Well, first of all, when I have a party, I like the house so-so. We're going to get it in tip-top shape. We're going to eat healthy food. No chicken wings. Can't have chicken wings. Why we can't have chicken wings? Uh huh? Why we can't have Because they'll kill you eventually. We're going to die one day. Your hand on the bleep button because it's gonna be some bleeping <laughs> going on. <laughs> Anything else we need, guys? Oh, we're not gonna make nachos. No, healthy. She said that we we're gonna eat healthy, but no hot dog. We wanted some chicken wings, hot wings, nachos, hot dogs, all that. I'm going to make a shift today to have it run the way that I'm used to running my family. We have to eat that healthy stuff that's nasty. Oh, Today is a little different. I have a little bit more freedom now. I don't feel so insecure about everything. Kind of understand that, you know, I'm supposed to be doing the mom stuff around here. These are too big. <laughs> they had the desert. What are you doing oh, no, now? We have to do that. <laughs> now, yeah. I have to do this. Yeah. But I was really worried about Nana. Just trying to, you know, get her to understand, you know, for the next three days, I'm going to take her what you usually take her and just go ahead and take a rest, Nana. I just need a bowl for the beans and a bowl for the corn. It's pretty hard for me. I just look at, especially in the party, just everything I do, cook and everything. Fold those, take those over here, and you're gonna start the next lot. There you go, those are dry. You and I are gonna go to the store at 11 o'clock to get the stuff for the party. Put this one away and this away. Now, we have to go buy her rules. Whatever she say do, we have to do it. Now, Omar, turn the TV off. We're not watching any TV today. The whole day? The whole day. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, yes, you can. I promise you can. Put your PlayStation 2 game up, because you're not going to play that for a while. Tammy said that we cannot watch TV, we cannot play video games, or we cannot watch movies. I'm really upset. I ain't undoing this. I get emotional when I undo this. You get emotional? When I unplug my video game, boy, my world came crashing down. I want to see exactly what comes out from underneath that bed. I kind of thought, wait a minute, that's my room. Yeah, you can regulate the kids, but that's my room. You know, it kind of stops. The line going to kind of draw right there. Get the other side there. Yeah. 
since Hammer and his kids have a grandmother to clean up, I think she should have brought her grandma over here so she can clean up over our house. Okay, guys. Now, here's what we're going to do. Pick up everything in the backyard and put all this, have this whole front porch cleaned off, okay? And go in the back, pick up all the stuff that has been laying there and put it out for the trash. The kids have really been great. They really have been great, I tell you. Yeah, they all right. The children are responding to me. I was 110% pleased. Just pull up in front. Okay, let's get a car. We want healthy, so I want you to help us out. I'm on fried chicken. Well, I know, but hey, we're I'm with you. But this today is... we're going healthy. We got a healthy fried chicken. So you think the kids are okay with me doing my thing with them? Yeah, I don't seem to have no problem yet. Let's check the backyard and see how the boys did. They didn't do the backyard. What? I told them. Okay, where are they? I don't know. I don't even know. Omar! I want every single thing picked up in the yard. I think that leading by example is very important. Can you clean that door off a little bit, sweetheart? It needs to be done. This is the way we're gonna do it. Just get it, you know, let's let's work together. Let's get it done. Runner at third. Nobody out in the ringers finally have taken <laughs> So tired of sweeping them up, Come on, Hank, come on. Oh! Well, I was mad. I was really mad because she was watching TV. I said to myself, since she is watching TV, I can watch TV, too. I hear TVs. TV, guys. I was just watching the end of the baseball game, and it's over. Hey, I thought we wasn't watching TV. You can't tell nobody that they can't do nothing that's not right, and then you turn around and do the same thing because you're doing nothing but just blowing hot air. The children are responding to me. I just kind of have a way with kids where I can kind of make them feel comfortable and kind of listen a little bit, maybe. Hey, Thomas said, this is Yuki. <laughs> Bring some food over, which <laughs> Mila asserting her family rules in my household. No, first thing, we have to call all the guests back because they're not bringing anything. What? Well, I was um, basically amused because this is my house. Bring some chips or drinks or something. <laughs> and Natalia, you want to start wa washing these? Nico and Natalia did everything I asked them to do, and more. Seeing these two washing dishes, this might be a first. Really, 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 really. All righty then. Feel nervous about this whole thing? A little bit. A little bit. My biggest worry about this party is just to be accepted. I know these are all business people, you know. I don't kind of hang around business people, you know. Kind of hang around this kind of down low, you know, everyday common people. So I'm really nervous about that. I've got some country music. Man, you gotta listen to country music. Oh, listen to what I listened to for once. Okay, and awesome. Anthony, will you put this on? I know you're all gonna die. All right, okay. we'll do that. Thank you. 
As far as the music that we're gonna be listening to, all the kids listen to rap music, all my brothers listen to rap music. We're not country folks, you know. It's gonna kill me like it's gonna kill you. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? How are you? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wedding. I know, but it was fun. <laughs> When my guests were arriving, there certainly was a significant tension between my guest and Mila. I don't know. Who's in charge of the food? I am. All right. But there's nothing I could do about that. This is done. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. No, baby, no. Mila is probably concerned about the differences that she may have with some of my friends, possibly in terms of social economic uh, backgrounds. Yeah, we're going to close July the 15th. Wow. Then we're going to have a to meet you when they walked in there was absolutely no nervousness that's my personality Kiara Humphrey Tammy Nakamura nice to meet you nice to meet you I'm Tammy I mean I know you're Tammy but who are you? I'm Anthony's new wife what? he threw her out and picked me up what you mean <laughs> I was a little scared, and I'm standing over in the kitchen, not saying anything to anybody. I don't know if I'm scared if I leave, uh, Nana will take my job. Yeah, well, that's okay. Okay, that's okay? Okay. I'm, st I'm stepping away from the kitchen. I know I would have to mingle with the people, you know, because these people are here for a party. And if I'm the host of the party, I'm supposed to be the life of the party. You know what? I'm hungry. Me too. Come on, girlfriend, dig in. Find something. Give this lady a cocktail. She's thirsty. This is so nice. So nice. I'm out of the that. kitchen. I'm done. I'm sitting down having a drink with friends. <laughs> so once I relax, the party relax. Do you think your husband's having a good time? You know, if tell me hang out with all you girls. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure he's, he's having, having a good, good time. Uh -huh. Like everyone just sitting around, everybody's just sitting down because of the country music. There's nobody, I don't know anyone that like country music. The country music, I don't know if that worked out. Because I love her, we're having the best time, I'm telling you. I was kind of agitated. This, this is not the way we party, so I'm like, okay, this is a party, and everything is kind of solemn, you know. wonderful experience for me and I hope it's been a wonderful experience for you and the gang. Bye-bye. Oh, Goodbye. Well, tonight at the party was like any party I have at my house. Bye, guys. I might have nicer plates to serve off of. I might have more serving platters. I might have more forks. Oh, thank you all for coming. But other than that, everything's the same. Goodbye, Jordan. It is Jordan, right? 
Keep I'm doing it's like a piece that looks a little dark. I'm sorry for you. Do you want to trade? You want to switch it out? Earlier at dinner tonight, I wanted to share with the family my favorite story of all times that someone had sent me on the internet. Oh, man. Oh, oh you guys, I forgot I had this in my purse. Joe, I want to hear my favorite, most favorite story ever. <laughs> What's the matter? I want to know who used the last of the sauce and put it back in the cabinet. That's a couple pages long. Can y'all can y'all hang with me? If you don't mind us chewing and listening. No, I, that's why I'm reading this, to give you all a chance to be quiet. Okay, it's, the name of the story is Someone Made a Difference. One day when I was a freshman in high school, I saw a kid from my class walking home from school. His name was Kyle. I helped him pick up his books and ask him where he lived. He looked at me and said, hey, thanks. Hey, reach around right there. There was a big smile on his face. It was one of those smiles that really showed gratitude. Uh-oh, I'm gonna start. Here I go. I was crying at this part. Kyle and I became best friends. When we were seniors, <laughs> Kyle was valedictorian of our class and smiling. I just looked at my friend with disbelief as he told the story of the first day we met. He had planned to go home and kill himself over the weekend. He looks... Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. What is the matter with you? This is my favorite story in the whole world. Don't try to stop my right Listen, I want you to listen to this. He said, my friend saved me from doing the unspeakable. With one small gesture, you can change a person's life for better or for worse. So, is that not an incredible story? I think that the story is pretty symbolic of my experience with the Biggins family. I did exactly the same thing that that story was doing, impacting their life in one short moment. Anthony, anything that you do could change somebody's life. Just one little thing. She had an idea she was saving our family, uh, not to be rude, but we don't need saving. You already know this is my last night with you guys. And I'm gonna say this really, really fast because I am a teardropper. First of all, I'm tired. I just thank you so much for your hospitality. You're beautiful and you'll always be beautiful. And to Mr. Nico, thank you for everything. Thank you for sharing the puzzle with me. You have truly been a, a total sport. Dr. Nakamura, I appreciate you. I thank you for sharing your family, your house, all the things that you and your family do. I appreciate the experience. You're more than welcome. I enjoyed it myself. And Nana, yeah. I want you to come home with me. Yeah. <laughs> you come visit for us. I come visit you. Can I come visit you? I'm getting ready to go. Were we that bad? We just running you off? Gotta go, gotta go. You knew you are gonna come out and see me? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Not tomorrow, but the day I don't know if you'd come tomorrow. The day I don't know that tomorrow. I want to see you tomorrow. Tell me this. When you go back to school, what are you going to tell them about this week? One day when they see it on TV, they're going to say, what was that lady like that stayed with you? So tell me exactly what you're going to say. She was a nice, caring person that cared about us instead of her. Oh, that's so sweet. <sighs> Asking me if I'd do this again. I don't think that I would. I love my life. I, I want to go back to my life and do the things that I do. Okay, guys. Love you. See you. Bye. Actually finding out what that family can spend the $50,000 on has been the most fun. It doesn't sound like a lot to you or I, but to them, it's a lot of money. Well, I don't have any doubts about the decision. I do fear that they won't be pleased with it, and I hope that don't affect our future friendship. But in my heart, I feel like I did justice with the contents of the envelope. Last night, I 
I had said my goodbyes to the family, but as I was leaving, yeah, I was a little disappointed. Nobody helped me bring my suitcases out of the room. Anthony was on the couch, and I kind of woke him up a little bit and said, Leap, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. um, he said. So when I was walking out the door, it was kind of a happy feeling. to say goodbye, but I had to say goodbye to them. When I wake this morning, Nana was awake. She was in the kitchen preparing some food to go. You let the everything? Yeah. Okay. Just give it to her, just give it to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just my so warm presence. <laughs> I just miss her conversation. She'll always be my friend. As we were walking out to the cab, I was like, Nana, don't get wet. And she was like, no, I'm OK. And Nana was a little sad to see me go. We connected on a different level. Okay. I'm not going to say, OK? OK. I'm going to see you soon. Yes. I love you always, OK? Yes, always in my heart. As the cab pulled away, I felt a sense of sadness. It's just hard for me to uh, walk away. Would you turn that air down a little bit? I am freezing. Can't wait to meet the person who spent the last six days in my home. Sir, now it's a little too hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've heard so much about her. I'm anxious to know about her experience. I just hope she's honest and open with me. I want to know, did my family act the way that I've always taught them to act? Did they welcome her? Were they the way that I wanted them to be? walking down the hall in order to go meet Melia, there were definitely butterflies going on. Now I've heard so much about her. I just want to meet her and see what she had to say. same smile your whole family has. Oh! <laughs> it's awesome. I see a little bit of all those kids in her. It's amazing. And it was like I felt I had known her forever. Can I ask what you thought of my family? Oh, my God. I am so in love. So in love with your entire family. What did you think when you first walked in the door? I was just overwhelmed. And the same Mama. thing with your home. Let me tell you, Neil, those... Those kids, they didn't get on your nerves too bad. Well, kids are kids are kids. I mean, I'm yes. sure my kids got on your nerves too. No. I think the difference in my house mm -hmm. is that there's a little more space to move them away from you. Exactly. I have a great experience. And never did I think it would touch me the way that it did. Same here. Never. Same here. No. I mean, we'll have a bond forever, and I want to keep in touch with your family. Oh, yes. I definitely, definitely. It's truly my pleasure to pass this envelope to you. It's truly my pleasure to pass this on to you. Okay. I hope you are pleased. I hope it's the way you want it. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. This has been a wonderful experience for me. But, you know, I had did what I come to do, and the job was done, and I was ready to go. I guess I really can't describe the anticipation of Mila coming home. Uh, I mean, if you ever was in love with somebody and they left you for a while, you already know how I feel. It's something you can't describe. We got up and we got a good start on cleaning the house. 
We want her to come home and be comfortable. We don't want her to come home to a dirty house. I'm looking forward to having Tammy come home. With Tammy gone, what was missing was a sense of organization in the house. It's just a, a missing piece of the puzzle when she's not around. It's a cab, Harold. Is it Milo? Hi, oh, baby. Oh. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Some food and stuff, hold it. <laughs> if I could think of one word to describe the feelings I felt when I first saw my kids would be, I guess I had said two words, complete happiness. <laughs> hey, Bobo. <laughs> home is home. <laughs> There's no place like home. You miss me? Mm. Stop lying. Hurry up, get these kids away from me. Oh, my God. Man, spread out a little bit. That's my mama. Move out. That's my mama. Mommy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 The amenities we have on a daily basis. There's no place like home. So being back is just a big sigh of relief. And I was really looking forward to explain to them exactly what this was all about. That there is a twist to this whole thing. I'm so sorry, y'all. I was trying to ease it on them, you know, as best way as possible, because I know Anthony. He don't like surprises. I was not the one to decide how the $50,000 was to be spent by the family. It was time for me to tell the family about the money. I'm so sorry, y'all. The $50,000 was not for me to determine how it was to be spent by the family. Tammy was the one who was to decide how it was going to be spent. And I decided on how her family was to be spent. So, for real. I wasn't happy about it. You know, I didn't really think she knew what we needed as a family. She's not here every day, you know, determining what our needs are every That's day true. on a daily basis. And uh, if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have did. Simple as that. Simple as that. You knew that a show like this couldn't go on without some sort of twist to it. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going over there? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. No, the twist is the whole time that Mila was here, she is the one who made the decisions of where our money was spent. Do we have to abide by this? Yes, we do. Or are okay, they... Dad, just... I was like, oh my gosh, what's it going to be? I had no idea. If I didn't know this before I left, because if I knew this before I left, I'm like you, I might not would have done it. But I'm okay now, because I had a choice to say where her $50,000 went. Just wait a second, okay? I am. I'm oh, this is what we to the Biggins family, what an incredible experience to meet a family with all that you have. I feel as it is my job to allocate the $50,000 as follows. $20,000 is to, be, to pay off your outstanding bills. Okay, I can deal with that. I feel the, <laughs> this will... That was my main concern. <laughs> ...free you up to have extra money to go towards the next item. $22,000 is to be used for a down payment on a new home. Okay, I can get you. I feel you need... $22,000? That don't add up. That's forty-four. That's forty-two. Some. The kids were just anxious to know what they were going to get, if they were going to get anything. They wanted to know what was going on with the money. $3,000 to be used towards yourselves. $5,000 for each children. A portion for it to be used. I mean, $500 for each children. The rest is to be used for anything they like. Millie and Anthony each to be receive $750 each to be used only on themselves. Millie's must include a day at the spa and Anthony to his favorite electronic store. There are. <laughs> They ought to spend the rest the any way they like. This will total the $50,000. And once again, thanks for the wonderful experience. May God bless you all. My love always, Tammy Nakamura. Yay! Yes, 
I'm very happy. I'm very, I'm very happy. I really have to give credit to Tammy because she actually did see the needs in our home. So I was pretty pleased with it. Okay, well, let's open it up and see what it says. <laughs> Through the Nakamura family. First, I would like to start out by saying thank you for allowing me to experience this with all of you. Everybody is so lucky in this family to be financially blessed to have the things in life that you want the most. But the reason for this letter is to let you all know where the $50,000 is going to be spent. The $50,000 will be awarded to Hideko to be used for a brand new car and any remaining monies to be used on a trip to Japan. Never in a million years would I have guessed that she would have allocated the money to go to Nana. Why me? I don't know. Uh, he's a shock. Because I don't want to be that way. I don't want to take all the money for myself. No, I don't feel good that way. No, I was so excited to see you guys. This is one more new experience that I can add to my repertoire of experiences. And maybe 20 years from now, they'll get up and say that I had some sort of impact in their life. Nana, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I don't think that anybody deserves it more than you do. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very grateful for this whole experience. I met Nana. She has totally changed my life. Now, I have to do this. Mira and uh, me, we're going to be a real good friend. I, I like her very much. And that's something that no money, $50,000, $100,000. There's no price to the feeling I have now. One of the benefits of um, Nana getting the money, which is a benefit to us, is that Nana will pay taxes on it in her tax bracket as opposed to our tax bracket, which is two completely different tax brackets.